Overwatch 2 Aim Assist Drama by Asmongold TV. Let's get right into this video, see what's going on with Overwatch 2. So people have been unhappy. This is this, and, and again, guys, this is going to happen a lot whenever um, Warzone 2 comes out. Okay. Whenever Warzone 2 comes out, people are going to go ape shit. I'm about sure. Aim assist and aimbotting. Yep, I'm like, sure. I remember whenever Warzone 1 came out, it was the same thing. <laughs> Here we go. Aim assist in Overwatch after this Reddit post blew up about a console player who was understandably upset about not being able to use aim assist in crossplay quick play while playing with their friends. Uh, that was a volume issue from from the recording on Asmund Gold's side. That was not me. <laughs> so if it was low volume and you couldn't hear the guy in the background talking for a second there, nothing I can do about that. Sorry. Listen, I literally never get involved in the aim assist controller versus mouse and keyboard debate. And frankly, I do not care even in the slightest about what aim assist is like in Apex or Warzone or any of those games because I simply do not play those games. So right. I wouldn't okay. have any input to give. But my god, some Overwatch streamers have such big egos and think they're always right, even while spitting out the most misinformed takes about console Overwatch and aim assist. So okay. here's Let's some see takes it. from someone who actively grinds both. Oh, and I know that I've gained a lot of PC player audience since Overwatch 2 came out, but before you jump to conclusions and think that I'm blindly defending what this man child likes to refer to. Uh, Overwatch first shooter to do cr Yeah, what's going on here? Crossplay and make it fair so you don't get aimbot when in the cross-platform <laughs> pool. Fair to as unfair auto-aim. Allow me to explain just how ridiculous his takes sound. But okay. if you're a console player who doesn't care about any of the drama and just want to know more about aim assist settings to help improve yourself, then, well, first of all, I have so much respect for you. And second, you can skip to the timestamp to get to that part. Okay. Now then, aiming in Overwatch with a controller is genuinely so much more difficult and different than any other shooter on console. Think about how many... Can I just comment on how, like... This is so funny to me what I'm doing right now. And what so many YouTubers and streamers do. Well, mostly YouTubers, but hey, anyway. There's a reaction. Okay, so there's content. There's somebody reacting to that content, and then there's somebody reacting to the reaction of the content. And it goes even more layers deep than this. But man, just thinking about the fact that I'm doing that right now, it's so funny. Different things you have to worry about aiming in Overwatch. Like, there's a bird with a rock. Well, there's Z axe. Does anybody actually believe that there's, like, too much aim assist in Overwatch 2? Do, do you guys feel like that? Do you feel like Overwatch 2 has too much aim assist to try and balance compared to mouse and keyboard? I, I don't know that I, that I feel that way. I, I played it. I did not experience some crazy unfair advantage for uh, console players. I really don't think so. I don't know. That's just my my take. Axis aiming. Or, 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 that's actually, no, no, it's not Z. Well, yeah, it kind of is. Um, yeah, it's Z-axis aiming. Like, in, in most shooters, you don't have to do Z-axis aiming. Like, for example, in, like, Call of Duty, you don't have to do a lot of Z-axis aiming. Okay. You don't have to, like, shoot up and down. You mean Y-axis? Am I saying Z in the wrong way? Am I looking at it in the wrong way? Maybe I He may be saying Z in the wrong way. I think Z is your 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 height. So X, right? X is this way, Y is this way. In 3D, right? So X is this way, you're moving left and right, Y is this way, you're moving forward and back, and then Z is like you're up and down. I think. I am. What I'm saying is like most shooters, Y axis. Oh, yeah, it's my bad. Um what I mean to say really <laughs> is that most shooters everybody is pretty much on the same the same field yeah now there are sometimes there's like a you know a ramp up at the top but like you're not dealing with something like Farah. you're not dealing right, with right. something like mercy yeah there's no one in the air that you're trying to shoot down you're 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 walking around on the same uh ground plane right and trying to get those shots off on people walking on that same plane as you yeah it's much different in overwatch can launch your flying right there's there's a couple uh champions that can fly or get themselves at least launched in the air I'm thinking of the the mouse ball there on that one over you with another bird healing it attached while at mm -hmm. the same time you're getting booped around by a rat in a wrecking ball but yeah you <laughs> get the right anyways the aiming uh, is so much more that's what i was talking about the rat in the wrecking ball 
more difficult in console overwatch than it is in other shooters so much so that over the years they have had to add so many more aim settings and features to make it more bearable things like linear ramp or aim assist easing or whatever the fuck legacy mode means weren't all i think that no matter what look at all of that aim assist strength aim assist window size aim assist legacy mode aim assist ease in aim smoothing aim ease in wow I mean, when I see it laid out like that, it makes me think maybe there is a little too much aim assist. I, I don't know. But do you really need all those options for it? I mean, ugh. What you do, people will always dislike the idea that somebody has assisted aim and they're competing against that person whenever they don't have assisted aim. It's true. You will never yeah. have a situation where people think that console... That, just saying it out loud, like... Oh, I'm aiming. Like, I'm manually aiming to try and hit that person. And then you say, oh, yeah, that guy had aim assist. Like, he had he had the computer, the software, actually helping him aim. Like, when you say it like that, it just sounds bad. So, yeah, of course people would complain. Control and PC are on even grounds whenever one of them, like, the truth is, like, you can be much more precise with how you aim on a PC and on console, aim assist does make a difference. If it didn't, right. then people wouldn't want it, right? Obviously, right, it makes right. a difference. So I think that's the issue. I, I feel like the best way to solve this, just in general, is to allow people to turn off crossplay. So yeah. if you don't want to play with other people that are on PC and you're on console, then you should never have to do that. I think that's huge. Yeah, I think he's spot on there. Like... If you don't want to play with crazy levels of aim assist, or even if it's not actually, you know, crazy levels of aim assist, but you believe it is, it should be your choice. I shouldn't have to play with console players. I should be able to queue with PC players. Even if the queues are longer, you know, and if someone's willing to accept that, that's their choice, you know? was there and a good source to see how many people needed advice on what the fuck half the settings even meant as well as constant updates is well me with so many changes and difficulties faced with aiming with a controller my how to play Widowmaker on console videos ended up being a whole tv series with the amount of reiterations <laughs> needed alternatively nice. it took me just about a month or so of truly grinding with a mouse and keyboard on pc to become better at aiming on overwatch than i ever was on console with a controller and aim assist wow and i'm not saying that i'm good at the game at all but it's saying a lot when you look at the amount of time and effort i've put into making content to help others improve on console while grinding it out myself to improve as well, only to become better grinding the exact same way in just a fraction of time with the mouse. And I'm not saying- I think that's generally true, is that the ceiling wow. is probably hard, is probably higher on mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I think that's true too. There's there's a lot less that you can do with a, with a controller. Even if it's just not as precise, right? It's It really just is not as precise. Unless you're using something like a Steam controller, but then that's for PC anyway, right? So, it's just, yeah, you have to have, you almost have to have aim assist to try and get it close. Like, something close to the level of a, a mouse and keyboard, but even then, I feel like it's not the same, right? People are able to just really fine-tune those shots with a, with a mouse and keyboard, and, and you just can't do that with a controller. Saying that to say that like keyboard and mouse is like I I, I would say so I, I think that's probably true it's yeah easier than controller or controller is easier than keyboard and mouse it really varies by situation but what the point is is that like I will say for sure it doesn't matter what game it is I would almost like except for like maybe platformers I pretty much always would rather play on keyboard and mouse I even play Dark Souls with keyboard and mouse I think I agree with that. I think, yeah, I think most games are going to be better or feel a lot better with keyboard and mouse. And then there's a select few, like, genres, like he said, like, platformers, where it just feels better. Almost like the experience was intended, you know, because it's, like, built in. Because the original platformers were on consoles with controller, right? So it's, like, it's like a built-in feeling and experience to play those kinds of games on controller. Uh, I mean, you you can play it on mouse and keyboard. It, it totally works, but uh, it just feels better on a controller. 
there actually was auto aim on console then i feel like i'd be a lot more better after like five years of playing there than i would be over here on pc with a mouse but <laughs> it's the fact sense. that these dudes with their heads so far up their asses feeding on nothing but their own egos over and over again with no proper knowledge of how aim assist even works on, on console overwatch want to spread misinformation about it in the most condescending way is what vexes me do people yeah i mean let's be honest people do get in their egos about it right like Oh, I know I'm better at this game than this, so it's gotta be because they have aim assist, blah blah blah. Seriously believe that giving people borderline aimbot, depending on how it's coded, is good for a competitive shooter game. Now, I'm not sure how long... I don't think it's a problem if it's if, if it if you're playing against other people that have the borderline aimbot. Right. So, for example, if everybody has... Yes, that's true. If you if you level the playing field and everyone has it, then it's no big deal. ...aimbot on both teams because it's not a cross-play group, then it's totally fine because everybody's playing on the same level. Exactly. Y'all have had it's the just common sense in your mouth for it. And at first, I did give him the benefit of the doubt that this was just satire and like an oppression farm. But after scrolling through his tweets and seeing him call other people having... This dude's mad. This dude is mad about a game. He is mad about a game. Oh, man. Whew. It's tough, man. It's tough out there. Tough out there to play video games. Dumb takes. I uh, worst takes in Twitter. Mario Debates 2020. Console play, but they want to play on PC. They can't have aim assist. So man. Game six on the internet. Yeah, I, I, I don't see... Like, let me... I think this is an interesting way to look at it. Does the Overwatch League allow people to play on console with aim assist? Can you... You know, I don't think so. Or at least that doesn't seem right to me. It seems like they should separate it. It should be PC versus PC, console versus console. But, you know, I don't know. Can you play Overwatch League on console with aim assist? I'm assuming the answer to that is no. Yeah. No. It, it just doesn't make sense. Of course not. Well, I wonder why. I, I, I think that... I think that's very telling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean... I guess for casual... Hey, maybe, maybe it makes sense... For casual play, for like, normal Q... To mix, right? To have PC versus console, who cares... Maybe it's maybe it's more of a challenge if they do have aim assist and, and so you really have to try hard. I don't know, like how you want to look at it. But for casual play, who cares, right? Uh, maybe if maybe if it was just separated for ranked, right? So okay, if you're gonna play ranked, it's only PC versus PC or console versus console, and especially for Overwatch League, right? For the professional, like we want to watch esports, blah blah blah. This better be balanced and fair. It's gotta be only PC, or only console. I just, you know, I had to address it. The main function of aim assist on console Control overwatch Winston. is yeah. to slow down the crosshair when it goes over the enemy's hitbox. Yeah. And that doesn't mean the enemy's head hitbox, by the way. That means anything from the feet all the way up to the head. And yeah. they made it this way just as the bare minimum to make playing on console overwatch a bit more bearable than it would be without aim assist. I think you need aim yeah. assist for Overwatch on console. You absolutely do. Exactly. A hundred fucking percent. Like, can you play Overwatch on console without aim assist? Yes, but I can probably assume it, it would, would be, be unpleasant. It would be painful. But it's in no way anything near aimbot or auto-aim. But if you don't believe me, take a look at Samju, who is a GM PC player playing on console, and tell me how blaringly ridiculous the auto-aim or built-in aimbot or aims for you takes about aim assist in Overwatch are. Chat, chat, you ready? This is why I play console Overwatch. Watch this, beam, bitch. Man. <laughs> yeah. That's why I play on PC. Yep. That was pretty bad. My now let me fucking destroy your CP. But alternatively, if you want to see just how difficult it would be to aim with Overwatch's controller mechanics without aim assist, then I suggest you check out this monstrosity of a VOD with this pro PC player 
replaces gold with one and then at some point just gives up and starts using MNK anyways. And yeah, the argument yeah. can be made that Joystick, for example, is a high-level huh. PC controller player without aim assist after grinding controller for years. But the big issue is how much of a disconnect you Overwatch streamers have with a casual player base who isn't able to spend hours grinding every day and literally just wants to spend time with their friends on a different platform in a casual game mode without being nerfed and forced to play no aim heroes. The fact that you can yeah, yeah, exactly. They're they're. I mean, this was me, right? This was me on console with my friends we would just hop on a group of five uh, well a group of six it used to be a group of six right all six of us grinding for fun right we're just having a good time like hey let's play some casuals or hey let's play some ranked right we're just trying to have a good time enjoying the cool heroes and and fun maps and you know it, it wasn't like we were trying to be pros or anything we were just playing just to play hey we, if we get better cool if we get higher rank cool but you know, it's just a fun game to play together. And I totally get that. Yeah, it's 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 not about like oh the the super competitive scene is unbalanced with aim assist. It's like no, pe I think a lot of people just want to hop on and have a good time and not be so unbalanced that you can't have a good time. I don't know. You can sit there with your condescending ass tone pulling random ass stats from other games that have literally nothing to do with casual overwatch the halos obviously that was broken and it ruined the game destroyed <laughs> any chance they had of being this guy is pressed yeah holy shit he's okay, upset so he's definitely i don't see upset. how this is so complicated if i remember right in warzone if you didn't want to play with people that had uh that were cr uh, cross cross platform you could just turn that off. Is that true? Remember, you could... Do you guys know about this? Is that true? I, I, I'm not actually familiar, but that's a really cool feature if, if it is true. Just turn off crossplay. So it's like, if you can just turn off crossplay, then how is anybody complaining about this? Right. Seriously. You, yeah, they, they should 100% make it to where you can turn off crossplay. Because I do think that for PC... Yeah, I mean, we said that earlier, right? If, if you can just turn it off, even for competitive, and you, and you still have it on, like always on for normals, I think that's fair. I think that would be fine. Players, even playing casually, knowing that somebody else has an aim assist advantage over them will make them feel worse about losing. Right, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. You can on PC for Warzone? Uh, well, I think that, yeah, Overwatch 2 has that option. That, that, that doesn't, this change, doesn't change nothing. Yes, it does. <laughs> what? PC, uh, can't play with computer and comp. The Halo Championship is forced controllers. They pretty much mouse and keyboard, uh, had no chance to compete at tournament level. Hmm. PS lets you turn off crossplay for all games. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that's just the... This, it, it's like, how is this even a conversation? Right. ...successful, considering at the highest level of play, on the lowest level of play, controller had better accuracy stats by 15%. 15%. Across the board, made the game unplayable. I see people say all the time, oh, well, keyboard and mouse is inherently better. No, it's not, right? And, and every big game out there has really proven that, right? I don't know that I agree with this guy. This guy... Yeah, he seems just upset, butt hurt, and just ranting, raving. <laughs> I, I honestly don't think I agree with him. Keyboard and mouse is better if you actually have the skill to capitalize on it, right? So the only time you really see that drop off is at high level play. Before anybody freaks out, it's like, oh, you're so wrong. The Warzone devs have literally said it, right? They literally came out and said in one of their articles. You know, at the highest level of play, I think there was it was pretty even between keyboard and keyboard and mouse and controller players. But they found that your average PC player was really. I think he's very off. Yeah, I think he's very off, because at the highest level of play, keyboard and mouse is way better, in my opinion. Like I really think that is true because you can get so dialed in with keyboard and mouse mouse is just way way more precise than a than a joystick ever is going to be as well maybe not ever but uh than they currently are and even with aim assist right because aim assist kind of just takes over at a certain point and it kind of influences at a certain level 
But with mouse and keyboard, you always have that total control. So if you're really, really good, if you're really dialed in, you're going to be way better than, than this other kind of hybrid system, player versus software, you know, kind of fighting or whatever. He's struggling to compete against their average controller player. Hmm. Almost like that they have aimbot in the game. Stop trying to justify aim assist. If Nick Merckx is not going to like this one. Really want to climb and get better and have a game be taken serious. Without a single clue about how Overwatch aim assist works. He's just whining. Man, that dude is just whining. Works is pathetic, especially in a debate again that started from a post asking if there could be aim assist in quick play so that console players could actually have fun grouping with their friends. Yeah. Saying that stupid shit about how at the highest level, yeah, M and K is better than controller, and then saying that for lower skilled casuals, the controller will always win because it has aim assist is so bizarre because even a monkey with no eyes can see how badly a plat or gold or whatever PC widow with M and K would shit on a console aim assist plat widow. And it's not even close. And this is coming from me who is <laughs> literally grinding on console like even as late as this year. You say at the end of your video that if a shooter wants to be taken seriously, then aim assist can never be involved. But when people with egos as large as yours are using their platform to spew uninformed bullshit about the shooter then was it ever going to be taken seriously in the first place anyways i understand that people get so mad about this yeah yes, it's like he's seriously. getting very upset um I, I feel like the fact that you can't use a controller in the overwatch league wow i i i mean maybe there's another reason i think the video is pretty much done there i mean the reaction to the original content is basically done there i think that's insane that people get so mad 